Hey everyone, today we're going to talk a little bit about port forwarding. Uh, now port forwarding is a way to manage the virtual pathways inside your modem. You might need to do this if you're running a virtual video streaming device like a home media server or a security camera uh, or if you're accessing a computer on the network through a remote access program or a VPN. Uh, the first device we're going to show you how to set port forwarding up on is the ClearHub Express. The first thing you want to do is go to your hub's homepage by entering clear modem into the address bar of your browser. If you haven't changed it, then the default password to access your modem is admin. Select advanced settings from the menu on the left. Uncheck enable firewall. Make sure that enable ping from the internet is checked. Next, select router from the menu on the left. From the available options, select DHCP Lease Status. Confirm the MAC address and IP address for the device receiving forwarded ports. You'll want to copy these down for later use. Now select DHCP Lease Reservation. Click Add. Enter the device information into the required fields and check the Enabled box. Select UPNP and DMZ and ensure that Enable UPNP IGD is selected. Also ensure that the DMZ IP address field is empty. Next click on Port Forwarding. You'll want to select the Add button five times to open five blank rows. It's important to note that the TCP and UDP port 161 and UDP port 68 are reserved and cannot be forwarded. For the first line, select TCP from the drop-down. For WAN port, begin, enter the number 1. For WAN port end, enter the number 160. Enter the IP address that was assigned during the lease reservation stage. For line 2, select TCP from the drop-down menu. WAN port begin gets set to 162 and WAN port end gets set to 65535. Once again, enter the IP address that was assigned during lease reservation. In line 3, select UDP from the drop-down menu. Enter the number 1 for WAN port begin and the number 67 for WAN port end. The IP address is the same one assigned during lease reservation. Select UDP again in the drop-down for line 4. WAN port begin is 69 and WAN port end is 160. Use the same IP address you've used before. In line 5, select UDP again. WAN port begin is 162 and for WAN port end, enter 65535. Once again, use the same IP address. Now scroll to the bottom of the screen and hit the Apply button. Once this has been accomplished, hit the Reboot button on the bottom of the far left menu. If you have a third-party router, you'll have to consult the manufacturer for port forwarding instructions for that particular model. If you have any more questions about the Clear device, you can go to www.clear.com and click to chat or visit us at facebook.com clear4g.